Shalom, 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 Yasha Allah. All praises to Yahweh Bashim and Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Hope everybody is well. And um, I'm just logging on today. I haven't been live in a few days, um, maybe about a week um, or so. But um, I'm logging in to see if everybody, um, Shalom Makab, can y'all hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? All right, somebody put a con triple seven if y'all can hear. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? All right. Can somebody put a, a con triple seven if y'all can hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay. Somebody say yes. I haven't got a con triple seven yet. Uh. Salaki, y'all. Um, Shim, y'all, shabrak a thumb to the Akim, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shashimata to the sisters. Um, and um, there's a lot going on, um, a lot we could talk about, but Israel, I just want to do a wellness check, all right? Um, on you, brothers and sisters, is everybody okay and their families? Um, and this so-called coronavirus crisis, that's what I'm going to call it, even though uh, we haven't really seen, you haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen what the Most High is about to do. Um, so um, I'm going to be going into some things maybe in the next couple of days. Um, I'll touch on this whole coronavirus thing. Y'all know me. I usually sit in the cut. I don't like to jump out there and speak on things right away. I know it's a hot topic. Everybody want to hear, well, what you got to say about this elder? Is this the last days? Is this... All right. Um, <laughs> Israel, y'all love some drama, but... Um, all right. Um, Salakia, so like y'all, if I'm going in and out, there's a little bit bad connection over here where I'm at. Um, actually, um, near my private bunker, um, in the mountains of California. No, I'm, I'm just kidding y'all. <laughs> All right. Um, the most high is my bunker, but, um, uh, on a, on a more serious note, Salakia, uh, everyone is well to the best of our ability. I don't mean to make it sound about just me. Just me, um, my family, Shalom, everybody, um, and HRI, but from what I can see on social media and the people I have spoken to from other camps and congregations, they are well also. And I wish all of Israel well during this time and especially during the time to come. Especially, Shalom, everybody, especially during the time to come, because y'all... Some of y'all think this is something. We ain't really see nothing yet, Israel. That's why I'm I'm not really tripping, you know. Um, even though the scriptures tell you in the Apocrypha, be not confident in a plain way. So I take everything the most I do and bring it down on this earth serious, but y'all ain't see nothing yet. Read them scriptures. Go back and listen to what we've been prophesying for the last 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. You can say what you want about One West, but One West brought them prophecies out. And what y'all see happening is what the Most High put in them scriptures. It ain't even got a damn thing with um, us going out there teaching. Because some of y'all going to get simple. All right, Israel, uh, uh, in the midst of world events and major prophecy, you always... All right, Israel, um, in the midst of world prophecy and major events going on, Israel going always still find uh, 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 a reason to be negative. But anyway, what I'm saying is we taught this word. The brothers, the elders and men before us taught this word. The younger brothers are still teaching this word now, keeping the torch going. Some of us elder and senior brothers are still teaching the word now, keeping the torch going. So we've spoken these words out of the scriptures the scriptures speak about plagues. 
Now, coronavirus, more likely than not, is a damn hoax. That's why I'm not tripping on it. You know what I'm saying? It's a hot topic. It's sensationalism. Everybody's talking about it. It has affected society. There's, there's, there's actually whole countries and cities and parts of the world that shut down behind this thing. So this is, it's carrying some serious weight. But if I put my tinfoil hat on, the actual coronavirus is BS. When there's a real pandemic, you're going to know it. But anyway, I'm going to get into that on another video or two I got coming up this week. I want to touch on this coronavirus and different aspects and different things I see from it. But right now, this video is just, this is just a short video of a wellness check. All right. This is a short video of a wellness check. I'm just checking on everybody because, of course, I got to look out for me, my family, my loved ones, first and foremost. Then, you know, my body that I'm laboring with, the immediate body that I'm laboring with, and then the extended body of the nation of Israel. So I love and I care about everyone, all of Israel. All right. Um, I got a, I got a uh, Sons of Thunder, man. I got to jack y'all line real quick. My heart's desire and prayer to the Most High, Paul, Yahweh Shai, the scriptures, and the Most High himself is that Israel be saved and that we be saved through these tribulatory times that's coming upon us. And um, we haven't begun really to scratch the surface of tribulation. Y'all tripping on this lightweight stuff but compared to what the Most High about to bring. And I'm going to get into some of that when I do the actual official lesson. But this is a wellness check. So if everybody's okay, your families, your loved ones, those immediate, uh, your camps, your congregations, any Israelite that you know of, that you a um, little bad reception. Remember I told y'all I'm in a secret bunker in the mountains of California. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> If I was in a bunker, goddammit, you wouldn't see no plants and trees behind me. But anyway, um, no folly, no folly, no folly. This is serious. Um, so this is a wellness check. So everybody give me a con triple seven if you're uh if you're okay. All right. And um Okay, there we go. So like you, y'all, I got a little uh a little janky reception. But um um, this is like I said, everybody give a con triple seven if you, your families, your loved ones, everybody in your immediate circle, um, your camps, your congregations, your wives, children, husbands, families, whatever, if everybody is okay to the best of their ability. Um I say to the best of your ability because a lot of you might say, Well, elder it's all hell breaking loose. It's crazy out here, but man, no, I'm not doing well. Yes, you are doing well because you woke up this morning. You're able to eat. You have it. If your ass is here on, on Facebook, you're doing OK. Because if not, you need to be somewhere making things better for yourself. So if you're here on Facebook, then you're doing all right. All right. So, <laughs> you know, for real Israel, but. I hope everybody is okay. Like I said, uh, me, my wife, my little ones, and my big ones, you know, I'm checking on all my family throughout the country. Um, but, you know, you can't be in 10 places at one time. So um, me and my family, we doing okay. Um, I, I'm not complaining. Of course, every one of us, we can be doing better. But in the midst of this so-called crisis, um, we are well and... Um, I just want to check on all of y'all family because, of course, thousands of y'all that I'm friends with and, you know, I got love for y'all, y'all got love for me. We don't get a chance to talk every day. Uh, y'all curse me out all the time about me not answering my phone because I, um, you know, I just don't sometimes. I'm, I'm caught up, busy, whatever, um, or, you know, distracted doing something else. But anyway, once again, this is a wellness check. Um, Psalms. The book of Psalms 34 and 7, I believe it says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. So um, I'm just checking in with everybody. So please let me know if y'all okay. And when I say okay, okay to the best of your ability 
inside of everything that's going on. All right. If you're alive, of course, if you're on here, you're alive. But if you're alive, you got food, water, your health, your strength. Um, you're OK. You're not in the damn concentration camp somewhere. The uh, National Guard didn't kick your damn door in with an M16 or an AR-15. Let me know that you're okay. All right, give me, put a con, triple seven. Uh, Shalom. <laughs> Look who's in the building, all right? Illinois is in the building, my sister. Shalom. Um, con, Macab. Kwame Ashala, H-O-I-Jers. All right, so, con, y'all were done. H-O-I Philly. So, um, like I said, I'm checking in on everybody. It's not just about me, my family, um, my extended HOI family. It's about my extended NOI family. Not the nation of uh, is Islam, but the nation of Israel. My NOI family, too, because those are Israelites. They're just in a different philosophy. All right. So, um, once again, just making sure everybody's okay. Um, we're going to be touching on this whole coronavirus thing. Um, this is probably going to be an ongoing topic. Um, once again, I'll touch on it. Most I will. I have an upcoming lesson or whatever on it. Um, what I'm seeing, I'm sitting back just watching day by day the news reports and everything and what I'm seeing. And, um, you know, we'll get into it. All right. So um, everybody stay safe. Um, stay blessed. Stay prayed up. All right. I'm going to get into some things that you could do, some practical some practical things that you can do during this time. <clears throat> it's just common sense things, practical things. Uh, Shalom, old friend. Shalom, how you doing? Hope everybody's well over there um, at the IUIC family. Kwame Asha'ala, all right? Shalom, um, Cali's in the building. Shalom. Um, so I just want everybody to uh, be well. Um, and, you know, um, give me a con, triple seven. Even if you see this video after it's posted, after I'm live, put a con, triple seven in the comments. And that lets me know that you and your family, your immediate loved ones are well. Unfortunately, during this during this crisis, you know, we can't all keep up with each other and help each other like we could, like we um, would like to put it like that. Um, okay, they say my my damn storage. So I'm gonna end this in a minute because my I don't want it to just cut off in the middle. But we can't be there for everybody. You can't do everything for everybody. You can't help everybody like you would like to, because Israel is a large nation. So you just gotta pray that everybody's well. That you're not physically around and not talking to every day, but that are of the extended Israelite family. All right, and pray to the Most High that they are well. All right, so that's it, Israel. It's just a wellness check. I hope everybody's well. Remember Psalms 34 and 7, like I said. Remember uh, 1 Peter 3 and 13. There shall no evil come to him that fear of Yahweh. So stay strong, y'all, during this uh, coronavirus crisis. And I'm only calling it a crisis because it ain't reached crisis levels yet. I'm just calling it a crisis because that's how the world is treating it. But it has affected it has a uh, Salakia sister Maria. I'll call you back. Sister's calling me while I'm on a broadcast, Salakia. Um, but it has affected society on a large scale. We can't deny that. But real pandemics, real crisis, y'all gonna see. All right, we gonna see when the Most High. Bien, total bien. Um, brother said, "Come on, stop." Bien, total bien. So. Pray for each other, Israel, if you can help each other. Um, get as, get as mit, much information from other brothers and sisters that you can. You never know who might live in your city, who might live next to you, who might you might can reach out to for some help. But I'm going to get into all that, you know, different contingency plans and stuff you can do. Just lightweight stuff, lightweight everyday stuff you can do to try to make sure you're okay during this uh, crisis. And remember... And once again, I got to reiterate, I'm only calling it a crisis because it has f affected society on a large scale. But you haven't seen crisis yet, Israel. The most high is just scratching the surface. But anyway, 
Um, be well, Israel. I love y'all. Much love and Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, uh, Mun. And um, this was just a quick wellness check. So all of y'all that are well, give me a con triple seven once again. And um, all praises to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai forever and ever. Amen. Stay strong, Israel. We'll be coming back at y'all as long as this social media is still up and running. Um, we'll have a Passover update announcement soon. Um, this stuff has affected some planning with the Passover. So we are actually um, weighing different options as we speak. So an announcement will be made in the next few days. Everybody will be updated. Um, but of course, at the end of the day, the Most High got the final say so. Uh, so be well. Um, once again, everybody stay in the spirit, stay prayed up, stay in your scriptures. If you got time off, this is a good time to study. This is a good time to reach out to fellow brothers and sisters and keep communication, keep, um, you know, the camaraderie and the nationhood open and everybody just stay strong. All right. So that's his, uh, HOI priest Sabak coming to you with a wellness check during this so-called coronavirus crisis, this, um, uh, Illuminati staged crisis. Uh, let me put my tinfoil hat on. I know y'all going, everything ain't a conspiracy, elder. There's people really sick out there coughing. All right, Idris Elba got it. Okay. But we're going to get into that too, most high willing. All right. But right now, see, a lot of y'all, your, your mind got to be on what's important sometimes. I'm not knocking none of y'all, but a lot of y'all, while y'all caught up with the hype, and the hysteria, y'all also got to check on your fellow brothers and sisters. The main thing is, is everyone okay? Is the most high protecting and watching over all of those, all of his little ones that he loved during this time? That's what we got to really be concerned with. Israel. Because I see a lot of y'all, you caught up with the hype and there's no food or water on the shelves. Um, I done seen about a 5011 post about toilet paper. You know, and of course, we know we Israel. We're going to talk about all that. But the most important thing is checking on the wellness of your fellow brothers and sisters. Yo, you know, none of us, uh, 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 you know, we wish we had the resources to help everybody, but you never know. A brother could be down the street from you. You never know. A brother could be in the next city over from you. You know, while the mail is still going on, you could send somebody something, whatever. All right, this is not a time to take advantage of each other, Israel. Well, you know, brother, I ain't got no food, no water, but baby ain't got no diapers. Can you send $5,000, man, because I got to go to Walmart and get some diapers? No. <laughs> Even though people do need diapers, water, food, everything, a lot of stuff running short, but th this ain't no time to be taking advantage, man, all right? But if people really need help, then reach out to each other or just just say, hey, brother, sister, I'm ho I'm just seeing I'm hoping you're OK. So that's what's most important. All right. Not how much toilet paper is sold out. All right. Or, or uh, you know, I went to Walmart and we was fighting over water that all that is part of it. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, uh, the wellness check is needed. So sometimes a brother or sister just may need a call or a text or email, whatever. Facebook inbox, are you okay, brother or sister? All right, and if I can't do nothing for you physically, I'm at least send up prayers for you and your family. All right, hell, do you 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 short on toilet paper? You need me to send you a box? They got plenty where I'm at. <laughs> I'm just being silly, y'all, but you know, it's the little things that count. And above and beyond prayer and encouraging words is what really counts. All right, all praise to you. How about Shemashiach Yawashai? Um, hope everybody is well during this so-called coronavirus crisis. And uh, most I will. I'll be back soon with uh, more updates. But uh, wellness check, Israel. Remember that. Wellness check. Now and going forward to the kingdom because we're going to be seeing more prophecy and more destruction like you've never seen. Everything we've been teaching on in the last, I'll just say my time in the truth, 25 years is coming to pass. All right. Kwame Asha'Allah, we still got next. All praise to you. How about Shem Mashiach Yahushai forever and ever amen. Hallelujah. Priest Sabak, HOI to the chariots fly. All the camps in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai throughout the four corners of the earth. All the brothers and sisters in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai throughout the four corners of the earth. 
We wish you nothing but wellness during this time and during all prophetic time to come. Everybody stay strong, stay in the spirit, stay in the faith, and I'll check back in with y'all soon. Kwam Allah. Keep everybody lifted up in prayer and positive and righteous and uplifting words. Hallelujah. Kwam Allah. We still got next. All praises to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Again, again, forever and ever amen. HOI to the chariots fly. HOI, we got next. Bring it out. HOI pull up, boys. All praises to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai forever and ever amen. Be safe, be well, and may Yahweh and Yahweh Shai protect you and your family.